Good morning, good morning, Set Apart Gardens family. Good morning from the Set Apart Gardens homestead slash farm. Uh, today, I'm just gonna take y'all along with me for our weekend little getaway. We're going back to our old stumping grounds. We're going back up to Richmond, Virginia. Um, you know, we gotta uh, uh, see a few people go to a wedding and stuff like that, but we're just gonna be in our old stumping grounds. Uh, so I wanna take y'all along with us, you know, as we, you know, embark on this journey. Um, and just have some fun and just bring y'all, you know, alongside. So with that, I see you on the road. Made it. I give y'all a little tour of the house in the backyard. Yeah. We're in a nice little, yeah. nice little neighborhood. <laughs> what up, DJ? Oh, hi. Oh. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up? How you took them shoes off? Yeah, All right, y'all. Let's get a tour. Come on, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. Uh, 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 I'm just uh, joking, Kamar. Come on. Come on, Josh. Yeah, we got a living room right here. <laughs> they tell me this is nice. Oh, the closet. Boom. As soon as you walk in, got a little bedroom right here. That's the kitchen. Nice little kitchen. Yeah, man. And you got the upstairs. Yo, can I? Can we have this room? Can me and Josh have this room? Yeah, all y'all gonna sleep in here. Ooh. Kids room. Ooh. Kids. You got a nice little room right there. Another bedroom. Then yeah, we got the master bath. Oh, that's the bathroom. Then we got the master bedroom. Feel me? They got the baby crib, all that. Nice house. Nice house. Let's go to the backyard, y'all. No. Here, hurry up now. Oh, it's got a nice backyard. Oh, yeah, nice big backyard. Yeah. Nice. I mean, children. Why would you? Go ahead. Yeah, let's go to the backyard, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, nice little deck out here. Where I'm going to be at. That's here. That's the backyard, y'all. It's beautiful, ain't it? Nice. Got a nice little area out there. Sit and chill or smoke or whatever you want to do. But yeah, y'all, this is what we're going to be staying for this weekend. Like I said, man, I'm going to take y'all around my old little stumping grounds. You know what I mean? We lived in Virginia for, for a few years. For about, we lived up here maybe like six years, six, seven years. Something like that. Maybe six. Um, Not seven. But anyways, you know, this is where I started into, you know, with the chickens and everything. Um, and then that's why when I moved, when we moved down on our land, that's why I was able to just jump right in, especially with the chickens, because I already had experience with even butchering chickens. I, I started butchering chickens up here when I was living up here. I started gardening when I was living up here. So I already had that experience from living up here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take y'all around my old stumping grounds and then y'all just go chill with us, what we do. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna see y'all back in a minute. It's coming. That boy got that stuff on. Yes, sir. Yeah, he got that on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we finna head out. Okay. Finna go do some things today. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me, all right? Y'all, this is where it all started at. On Norton Street. DJ, this your house that you was, when you was a baby, that you was born in? Yeah. Yeah, that's where you are from right now. Yeah, y'all, that's the first house that we rented when we moved to Virginia, when I got stationed here. 
This the first house. Oh, uh, now we um, y'all don't mind me chewing my gum, do you? But this the first house that it's a neighborhood right here. Nice little neighborhood, nice little house. You know, first house we rented and stuff. You know, but it brings back memories. You know what I mean? So let's go to the next spot. Uh, yeah, right. No, I like a year. No, two years. Yeah, this where we, this our next spot where we moved to. The projects. It's not the projects. <laughs> might as well be. Yeah, might as well be. Yeah, y'all. This the this the jets. You feel me? But it ain't like the jets where I'm from. It's just a little little uppity projects. But now nah, they townhouses though. It's what we yeah, you know. We were just young. You know, look, look, see you see all the black churn out here? They went out here when we was out here though. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we was at, yo. Um, can you point but, the camera at me? But we was blessed, though. Hi, thank you. Yeah. 214. Yeah, 214. Cabell Drive. They got something on that door that wasn't. And open. they put us in the they put us in the worst one, see. Oh, yeah, these ones up. Yeah, because the other ones, see, like, these on this side is better. But but this was a beautiful place because we got the lake right there. I used to go fishing, the little it lake. Was, it was beautiful. It is beautiful. It was a struggle. You no, know I'm saying the area. Really like and the really yeah, yeah, really this was. Like yeah, we moved till, um, you know, after we left our little tiny house. Not tiny, but you know, our little house. But we moved over here because the rent was cheaper, and we stayed here. Yeah, we stayed. No, no, it was like a hundred. Oh yeah, it was a hundred. And we stayed here until we bought our house, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. It was an upgrade. So y'all see where we at now in the Jets. Now, I'm, now, now, I want y'all to see where we went from and what we went to, where the Most High took us to. So hold on, we, we, we'll be there in a minute. I see y'all there. Y'all, this is what we moved to right here. A little cul-de-sac. Look, they put the little rails up. Yeah. Y'all, this, this. they got a little gate. Yeah. It still look the same, same color. They, yeah, this was our house right here, y'all. Right here in the cul-de-sac, right in the center. Two-story, colonial. Did you tell them it was my choice? Garage, detached. It was nice. I mean, we had some good neighbors too. We had some good neighbors, but this is what we, this is where y'all brought us to. She still stayed up. This is where y'all brought us to, y'all. So, you know, we just thankful. Yeah, there she go right there. That's where we moved from. This is where I started. Oh, they done fenced the backyard too. I know, that's what I'm saying. I love that. This is where we started with our garden, with our chickens. This is where I started butchering chickens at. Yeah, so yeah, this that's it right there. That's it. They still got the same playground out there. Yep. All right, y'all, we riding through VCU. That's Virginia Commonwealth University. Yeah. Now, now for those of you who don't know, I used to be in network marketing. Right, me and my wife, we used to be in network marketing. And so we used to be coming all up on the VCU campus, you know, trying to recruit the students, having all kind of meetings and stuff. You know, I used to be in Amway, for those of y'all who don't know what Amway is. Yeah, yeah I was one of them. Um, but yeah, did we used to, this, you know, we used to be from VSU all the way up to VCU. You know what I mean? We used to be, man, trying to get them college kids in that stuff. But yeah, this, you know, this just reminded me of that. But now we riding. If you have never been to Richmond, yep. um, I highly suggest well, we're, where we're going right now to Maymont Park. It's it's so beautiful. Yep. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there. You know, a lot of historical stuff. Yep. A lot of places like we finna do a little picnic. Right now. But um, going to you also there. have like trails, and they also have like animals, like an animal exhibit. Like it's a lot of stuff. They got a lot of animals. They got bears, bobcats. What else they got out there, B? What about like at Maymont the animals? Um, they got uh monkeys, yeah, and they got a little um, petting zoo, little farm up there, yeah, monkeys, all that deer, wild deer, um, all that type of stuff. But you know, if you never uh had a chance, hey, or if you ever in the Richmond area, definitely check out Maymont, it's free too, or it should be free, it used to be free. Um, but also, what we're going now, uh, what we passing through now, we passing through Carytown. Uh, so if you ever get a chance and you're in Richmond, go through Carytown, man. It's it's the most beautiful little street. Got a whole bunch of restaurants and stuff. Um, you know, a whole bunch of little shopping. They got a real good Greek restaurant and everything. Dang, why are they holding on traffic? But yeah, if you ever get a chance, definitely. Um... Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get over. Oh. Ain't nobody trying to let, let, let you go over. Oh. 
appreciate it. I was about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, y'all, man, they know who they, they know. No, they don't know all the way. They know I'm real, you know. I, I get hitting it real, sometimes. You about to get a little But hit. you know, I got to keep my professional for y'all, you know what I mean? Wow. But anyways, yeah, like, uh, Carytown, Maymont Park, Bell Isle, that's another one. Oh, Bell Isle. Bell Isle, so beautiful. It's an island. Yeah, it's a it's an island. Um, you know, you cross over, it's a little bridge, you walk over there. But um you got Bell Isle. Um and then you got a lot of museums too. You got the Virginia History Museum. It's a lot of free stuff in Richmond. I ain't gonna lie. We used to be up in Richmond all the time. But um and it's a, it's like a lot of these spots too. Oh, Maymont got botanical gardens too. They got like Japanese gardens. The botanical garden. It's a, it's a lot that made my I ain't gonna lie. But um it's a lot of it's, it's a lot of history as far as with our people too, as far as black people here too. All the way down from Petersburg all the way up to Richmond. You know, you got a lot of places where slaves were were sold at. Come on man, what are you doing? These folks can't drive, bro. This what a student said, so they young. Yeah, they cannot drive. Yeah. But it's a lot of um, it's a lot of history, y'all. It's deep, deep history. You got a lot of Native American history, like what I was showing y'all, our house in Hopewell. Um, maybe like two, three miles from there. Um, well, actually, Hopewell, uh, the city of Hopewell, the James River runs through the city of Hopewell. Now, if you don't know what the James River is, if you ever read the Willie Lynch letter, um, where he's, uh, when he starts off in the letter, he's he's basically saying that, you know, he's you know, overlooking the James River, you know, and giving and giving honor to King James and stuff like that. That's where he was. He was right there in Hopewell, um, at the Jefferson, was it Thomas Jefferson Plantation? I forget what which president. But you know the plantation over there. Um, I think it was the Jefferson Plantation. But that's where you, they still got the slave shacks and all that out there. Um and it over in the and it oversits the James River. But that was one, two miles from where we were. You know, that's how deep, deeply historical it is. Also, where Pocahontas and her tribe was from um, is, is close to Hopewell, right there close to Hopewell as well. So it's very historical. Then, you know, you go about 45 minutes west and you'll hit um, Williamsburg in Jamestown. And uh, we've been in, we went to Jamestown, you know, where they first bought, you know, where they were bringing the slaves at, where they first had the settlements and stuff. And we've also, um, we've also uh, went to the actual uh, place where the first slaves were brought in 1619. That's in, I want to say, uh, Newport News or closer to Newport News. But, like, it's a lot of history in Virginia, man. Um, you know, all the way up to Fredericksburg, all the way to Charlottesville. Just all that type of stuff, man. We used to be into all that. But let me show you all this view. This is Bird Park. This is right outside Maymont Park. This nice little area. You know, got nice little stuff. It's a real, real rich area. A lot of people got a little money out here. You know what I mean? So it's just, and then this is Maymont right here. I hope it's still free. This is the entrance, sorry about that. Is it still free? We finna check. All right, this is it, y'all. I'll see y'all when we get inside. Y'all, this is Maymont. They got a little nature center as well. It's beautiful. This the inside, this the entrance right here. Y'all, this, I need a drone, because this, this don't even do it justice, how beautiful it is. But you got all that out there. I want to say this like over a thousand acres. It was some rich person donated it. You know how they be doing with land and stuff. Donated it. Look at that, y'all. Hold on, y'all slow up. The farm is up there. The little petting zoo. I don't know if they got, they still got animals out there, but they used to have like cows and donkeys and goats and stuff. Donkey? Slow up, y'all. Yep. But this is it right here. On, oh, we got to go this way. Get over here. So, uh, yeah, we going this way. You know, it's very hilly, but it's beautiful. Nothing so, y'all, that's the Maymont Mansion right there. 
like I said, this was, this land was donated to the city of Richmond. I forget by who exactly, but whoever it was, they lived in this mansion. This little middle age looking, I'll get close up on it for y'all. Um, but it's like a little middle age looking kind of castle house. Something out of England, out of Europe. But this is it right here, y'all. The Maymont Mansion. And then, yeah, you got all this land right here. But it's beautiful and it's still free. It is still free. Uh, hey, follow me. It is still free. Hold on, let me turn the camera on me. But it is still free. Look, look, they walking behind us. Um, so, you know, it's nice, but they got an aquarium too. They got a nature center inside where we were in the entrance, but that costs money. Um, but you know, everything else is free. So you can come out here, like we finna have a little picnic. You know what I mean? And just enjoy it. Uh, just enjoy nature with the wildlife and all that type of stuff. Or you can um, go in the nature center and everything like that. But they also have exhibits too. Like I said, that's outside, that's free. That you can see animals. So we finally have arrived to our bench. I'm gonna take y'all over here to the castle. Like you can have a nice little wedding out here. But this like, like I was telling y'all, this the mansion right here. Very, very beautiful. And then on the other side of this house, or this mansion, you had a botanical gardens where people get married and stuff. As you can see, like, look like they have a little wedding and all that type of stuff, but it was beautiful. It's beautiful. Let me take y'all, take y'all, yeah. Yeah, somebody getting married right there. But look at that, y'all. Then you got your little well. I'm gonna take y'all on the other side real quick. Take y'all on the other side. Look at the stonework, man. See, man, I'm a history geek, man. I love history, I love nature. You know, just a lot of stuff like that. You know, I know a lot of our folks, black folks, we ain't really into stuff like this, but I love trails and just like, you know, just stuff, free stuff. I like free, love free. And so, like I said, the botanical gardens is all down here. I'm not gonna go all the way down there, but as y'all can see right there, that's what it looks like. You know what I mean? But we used to come here all the time, man. Me and my wife, we used to come out here all the time. And like you can walk the whole thing, it's very hilly. So if you're looking to get a workout in, definitely, you know, definitely check this place out. If you're looking to get a workout in, you know what I mean? And just go on a nice little trail walk, you'll burn a lot of calories. It's probably like a mile. If you walk all the way around, it's probably like a mile, but it's inclined too. So you're gonna burn more calories because of that. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice, y'all. Check it out if you can. But like I said, man, me and me and my wife, and at the time DJ, because he was a baby then, he was younger. We used to come out here all the time. You know, we just used to get out, man, and do stuff. We still do, but you know, now we got the homestead, we got the farm, so we just be chilling at, you know, at the house. But every night, excuse me, every night then we'll pop out. But yeah, y'all, we finna enjoy our little picnic, and I'm gonna see y'all later. All right, y'all, it is time to leave. Um, yesterday we went to a wedding, so I didn't really record anything. I might drop a picture or two um, as far as the wedding. Uh, let me fix the camera lens. But yeah, it was a nice little wedding, man. Black love, you know what I mean? But uh, we finna hop on the road, man. We finna get back to the house, so I'll see y'all on the road. All right, Shalom, y'all. We are about halfway home. We in North Carolina right now. We had to stop. Um, but I wanted to kind of, you know, just give y'all some insight, man, you know, as far as why this trip was, you know, it was, man, very important because of the simple fact, man, we lived in Virginia for like five, six years, man, and um, that's where I first came into the awakening of who we were as the children of Israel. You know, that's when I really started studying my word. That's when I got my degree in biblical studies and I really just started studying the word. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's the place where the most high first uh, woke my eyes up or, you know, awoke me. And um, when I first started getting back to the land. So that's that's why it was very, very important for us to, you know, come back, you know, just to kind of reminisce and stuff like that. But I'm gonna see y'all when we make it home, all right? Good old Bucky's. Bucky's. Oh, you get me.
All right, y'all. Now we done made it back home, man. Thank the Most High. I'll pray to the Most High, y'all, for keeping us safe and allowing us to have traveling grace and mercy, man. Uh, we done passed. We passed accidents, man. Several accidents. So we just thankful that we made it on that road, man. Um, but yeah, we, you know, from here uh, to Richmond, it was about seven and a half hours. Now, I'm used to that drive because I used to live up there, so I used to have to drive all the way from up there down to Florida. So I'm used to that drive, but man we made it back man and like i was telling y'all earlier man that's our old stumping ground that's kind of where it all started um and for those of you who don't know you know i spent five and a half years on active duty in the army and um uh my first duty station was in hawaii after we left hawaii that's when me and my wife moved to richmond or petersburg virginia um you know stationed at fort lee or what was fort lee um and and that's where it kind of started at that's where we bought our first uh, our first home like we showed you guys and that's where i got started into the gardening i've always been interested in agriculture um fun fact um i'm not sure if i told this story but i used to have chickens growing up um around my junior senior year in high school um, my grandma would take me to the standard feed store on um, what i would do every day you know i'm gonna be transparent with y'all you know i used to be a you know a little hoodlum to say the least uh but what I used to do every day, we would shoot dice. Um, I would always win, of course. I would come up, you know, can't nobody see me on the dice. I don't gamble no more, but I'm just saying, I still, you know what I'm saying? I, I know how to shoot dice. But anyways, I used to win on the dice game. I used to come up and my grandma, she would take me to the feed store every day and I'd buy chickens, I'd buy little stuff. My dad helped me build a chicken coop in her backyard. And I used to keep chickens, you know, when I was in high school. I never butchered or anything like that. It was just me more so keeping them, feeding them every day, watering them, just taking care of them. Um, you know what I mean? So um, that's what really sparked it, you know, back in those days. Um, but uh, fast forward to Richmond, when we bought our first home, um, I had already, you know, like I said, I had been awakening to who we are. Um, that happened, you know, probably, you know, like a year before we bought our home. Um, as far as the most high awakening us, you know, I was at, when I actually it happened when I was getting off of active duty, I just started reading my word, man, and wanting to learn for myself. And then when I went to college and everything, and I was studying biblical studies and theology, um, I was recognizing the indoctrination, um, but I did learn how to study the word properly and, and, and rightly divide the word um, and, 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 you know, all that good stuff. And during that time, that's when the most high opened my eyes to who we were. Um, and, and after that, you know, I just had this vision of being self-sufficient. You know what I mean? I had this vision of being a shepherd, living, living the Hebrew way, living the biblical way, living like my forefather, Yaakov, living like Abraham, living like uh, Isaac or Yitzchak. You see what I'm saying? So I'm um, just living like my forefathers. You know what I mean? I, I, I wanted to do that. I wanted to be a pastoralist. I wanted to know what it's like to actually lead sheep and be a shepherd because if i'm if i'm going to be leading his sheep or you know have a position to where i am looking after a flock of the most high sheep in the form of people then i should kind of understand what it's like to re, uh to lead real life sheep and to be a real life shepherd um but i say all that to say that's where it all kind of started um we lived on maybe like close to like close to like three-fourths of an acre our backyard was huge you know what I mean? That's when I started with chickens. Um, man, at one point we had maybe like 30 chickens in our backyard. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Um, <laughs> and then that's the story I was telling y'all about where the lady dog, she was, her dog was killing our chickens and stuff like that. And they ended up calling the people on us. Um, but yeah, that's where that happened at, man. Um, and I butchered my first chicken at that house in the backyard. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know just 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 living the dream man living that lifestyle living the set apart lifestyle becoming self-sufficient that's when i first learned how to really just put some seeds in the ground and really just grow something you know seed starting and all that type of stuff you know but i'll talk more about that lately but i just wanted to show y'all that because that was sentimental to me man you know what i'm saying just going back to the old stumping grounds you know what i mean and, and, and really just kind of reminiscing on where it really started where i was actually able to really start getting back to the land and that set us up to come here um but yeah man uh with that said man i hope y'all enjoyed the video uh i'll praise it to the most high um 
if you got any questions man you know drop them down below man um and yeah man we just gonna keep going we're gonna keep moving along man like i always like to say if you give somebody the power to feed you, you give them the power to starve you peace bombs over back then really ain't that bad little wiretap yes yes little dodge in the irs little hayden